Let us now look at the second model from the topic of calendar where we are required to find the day of the week for the given date without any other reference given in the question. We have already solved a couple of such questions in the introduction part where we have found the day of the week for 15th August 1947 and 1st of May 1988. So a similar procedure has to be applied here to get the answers. But remember, for you to get the answers quickly without any difficulty, you need to remember the code of the month. That is nothing but the total number of odd days for all the months before the given month. But remember that for you to be able to answer these questions quickly without any difficulty, you need to remember the code of the month, which gives us the total number of odd days for all the months that comes before the given month. With the help of this code of the month, we can do the calculation of number of odd days very quickly. Let us now look at the given examples. So the first example here is what day of the week was 18th February 1348. So a very direct question without any reference that is no other date or days given in the question here. Right? So we need to find out the day of the week for 18th Feb 1348. Now we know that to find out the day of the week for this particular day, we need to calculate the number of odd days starting from 0th day, right? Or the period of 1st January of the first year to 18th February 1348. And based on this number of odd days, we can find the day of the week. So how do we calculate the number of odd days? We'll split this period, right? That is 1st January of the first year to 13th February 1348 can be split into different parts where the calculation of number of odd days is very easy. So it can be taken as first 1200 years, right? Plus 100 years. What are these 100 years? From 1201 to 1300, right? 1201 to 1300, that is those 100 years plus we are in the 48th year of this particular century, right? So we need to consider the previous 47 years, those 47 years. Then in the 48th year, we are referring to the month of Feb and the date here is 18th, right? So we need to take the number of odd days for all these small individual periods, right? So 1200 plus 100 is 1300 years, 1300 years plus 47 is 1347 years. Then we are in the 48th year, 1348th year. The month is Feb and the date is 18. Now we know that 1200 years will have zero odd days because it is a multiple of 400 and every 400 years we get zero odd days. So that is zero odd days. 100 years as we have discussed in the introduction will have five odd days, right? 100 years will have five odd days. So this will be equal to five odd days. Here it is zero plus five plus 47 years, the number of odd days in 47 years. So for this, we need to find out the number of leap years. Now in 47 years, we'll have 11 leap years, right? From uh, 1304, 1308, 1312 up to 1344, there will be 11 leap years. Basically, we need to check the divisibility of 47 by 4. It goes 11 times, right? 47 by 4 will give us 11 as a question. So we can say 11 leap years. Now, 47 years will have 47 odd days. And since there are 11 leap years, those 11 leap years will have one additional odd day. So plus 11. We have already understood this calculation in the uh, earlier examples that we have taken. Now comes the month of February. What is the code for February? The code for February is 3, right? That is nothing but the number of odd days for the months that comes before Feb. So it is equal to 3. But one important point that we need to keep in mind here is we are in the year 1348 now, right? Feb and 18, this refers to the year 1348. And 1348 is a leap year. Yes or no? The year 1348 will be, would be a leap year because it is exactly divisible by 4. So we know that for leap years there will be one additional odd day. So we need to take plus 1. But the point to be noted here is 18th Feb 1348 comes before 28th Feb 1348. That means that extra odd day that we get in a leap year is beyond this date. Hence, we need not consider that extra odd day in the calculation. Had the same calculation been for some other date, which is after Feb, for example, let's say 1st of March 1348 or, you know, some date in October, 12th of October 1348. Then what do we do? We'll take the code for October and we'll take plus one because 
12th October comes after the month of February which means there will be one additional odd day in that period but since this 18th Feb 1348 though it is a leap year it is before the actual additional day so we need not consider that extra day right and so for Feb we have taken the code as 3 and 18th date right 18 days so this 18 now by adding all these values we will get the total number of odd days and that will give us the day of the week so let's simplify this 47 can actually be taken as 5 odd days because 47 is 6 weeks plus 5 days 11 can be taken as 4 odd days 1 week and 4 days now 4 plus 3 again gives us 7 7 is equal to 0 odd days 18 can be taken as 4 odd days yes or no 18 is equal to 2 weeks plus 4 days so 4 odd days so the total number of odd days are 5 plus 5 plus 4 5 plus 5 plus 4 is 14 again 14 odd days is equal to what 0 odd days because 14 odd days is 2 complete weeks so we are getting the total number of odd days to be 0 and 0 refers to a Sunday so we can say that 18 Feb 1348 was a Sunday so that's the calculation which we need to do right you need not write all these individual parts uh, while solving it in the exam it is only for your understanding right no need to write 1200 years anyway number of odd days will be 0 100 years you know it will be 5 then remaining 47 years will have 47 odd days and since there are 11 leap years 11 additional odd days then 3 refers to the code of Feb right the month code is 3 18 is the num date here 18 is the date so plus 18 and though it is a leap year we are not taking additional one odd day here because 18 Feb 1348 is before the actual additional day that is 29th Feb 1348 now do this calculation get the total number of odd days which will give us the day of the week so 0 odd days refers to a Sunday so we can say that 18 Feb 1348 was a Sunday maybe it looks to be difficult now or a lengthy calculation now but if you practice a few questions I am sure you will be capable enough of finding out the day of the week uh, without putting anything on paper right all you need to do is get the total number of odd days let us now look at the second example question here is what day of the week will be 8th June 2215 now this is a future date right 8th June 2215 let us now find out the number of odd days again for this period but without writing these individual parts right we must now be able to do it uh, without writing all these steps now if you observe 2215 so first 2000 years 0 odd days right every 400 years we have 0 odd days so 400 into 5 gives us 2000 years 2000 years will have 0 odd days so 2000 years is gone now left out is 215 years now 200 years out of 215 years let's consider 200 years 200 years will have 3 odd days we have calculated this in the introduction right 100 years will have 5 odd days 200 years will have actually 10 odd days but 10 odd days can be taken as 3 odd days so we'll take 3 then comes the remaining 15 years now we need not consider the 15th year because we have to calculate the day of the week for some date in 15th year itself only the previous 14 years right the previous 14 years will have 14 odd days but in these 14 years we have three leap years right 0 4 0 8 and 12 three leap years and three leap years gives us three additional odd days so plus three right now comes the month now we are in the 2215th year yes or no 2000 years 0 odd days 200 years 3 odd days 14 years 14 odd days 3 leap years 3 extra odd days now we are in the month of June right now we are in the year 2215 where the month is June what is the code for June the code for June is 4 right the month code for June is 4 4 is nothing but the total number of odd days for all the months which come before June that is from January to May the total number of odd days is 4 now we also need to check whether the year 2215 is leap year or ordinary year if it is a leap year we will take plus 1 otherwise we will just proceed with the date now 2215 is an ordinary year because 15 is not divisible by 4 ordinary year means there will not be any extra day so the month code is over and finally we have to take the date which is 8 now add these values right 14 anyway is equal to 0 14 odd days is equal to 2 complete weeks which means 0 odd days right so 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 and 8 is 18 18 odd days 18 odd days can be taken as 4 odd days 
because 18 days can be split as two complete weeks plus four odd days. Now four odd days means Thursday. Four refers to Thursday. So we can say that the day of the week here for the given date 8th June 2215 will be a Thursday. So this is how simple is the calculation to find out the number of odd days so that we can get the day of the week for the given date. And as I've mentioned, if you can remember the code of the month, here 3 was the code of the month for Feb and here 4 was the code of the month for June. So if this you learn by heart, it becomes really very simple to do the calculation. Remaining all are very easy to remember. Only thing is we need to learn the month codes. So learn all the month codes which we have uh, discussed in the introduction part so that you can get the answers uh, much faster. So that is all from the topic of calendars. I hope all of you have followed this very interesting concept of number of odd days which can help us find out the day of the week for any given date, whether it is a past date or a future date. And now you are ready to surprise your friends where if they tell you any date, you can tell them the day of the week for that given date. So practice well on this concept of odd days so that uh, you can solve the different types of questions that are asked from this topic of calendars. All the best. See you in the next session. Thank you.